Hey developers, let's take a look at five tips that you can use to nail that front end interview. So tip number one is make sure you have a portfolio website. So that can include a personal website. It could include a website that has all links to everything else you've done, all the different graphics, images, other websites you've done for other people, or just stuff that you've done for fun. Make sure it's all linked up in your personal website. Another thing you could do if you have a blog, it's really good to have a blog and have actually a very detailed blog entries with things that you've learned. That really helps out. Uh, having videos on YouTube, anything you can show that you are a little bit more than just a run-of-the-mill person um, looking for a job. Something that can show your skills and highlight what you've done. That would be the most important thing to start off with. Number two is if you're given a take-home test before the interview, make sure you spend a lot of time on it. Make sure you look at all the little details and you get it all correct. I actually had this happen a while ago. I got a take-home interview and I didn't quite understand how to do it correctly. I knew the basics of it, but I didn't spend enough time researching how to perfect it. When I got done, it looked good to me, but it wasn't good enough for the place I was interviewing at and I didn't get the job. So definitely take a little bit of extra time on that take-home test if you're given one because you want to really wow and impress the people that you send it to and you want to show them that you know the material that you were able to go above and beyond what they asked. Definitely work hard on that. At number three, make sure you have a GitHub profile. And on that GitHub profile, put your projects on it. And if you can, put some. you'll get some bonus points if you have some open source projects on there. So definitely put some time and effort into your GitHub profile, upload some projects on there, Make sure that you're not just forking a bunch of other people's projects and not doing anything. If you can, start contributing to open source. See if you can make that graph on GitHub show that you've been working for a long time, uploading and making submissions. That will show that you are dedicated and that you're smart and also gives your employers an idea of your skill level and how you code. At number four, definitely practice actual interview questions for front end developers. <laughs> It seems kind of obvious, but a lot of people miss this step. So make sure that you know how to answer basic CSS questions. Make sure whatever stack that they're using that you at least look over it and do some research on it to see what the common questions are for it. Um, for front-end developers, make sure you know your HTML well. Like if they're a React shop, look into React, at least be able to answer some common questions on it. Do some research on the company too. Companies love it when you've done research on them before you talk to them. It shows that you're, that you're thoughtful and that you are hardworking and that you're able to do some research before you even talk to, to them. So that is always a good idea. Make sure you do some interview prep. There's also some common questions that you get on a lot of interviews of like what's your weakness, what's your greatest strength. Um, a lot of interviews will try to ask you questions about how you deal with stressful situations or they'll ask you how you would react in certain spots. Just remember, try to be thoughtful, try to practice answering these questions. Like again, once again, maybe just even Google common interview questions and make sure you can answer them. And number five is that you should always be courteous during your interview and after the interview, don't be shy, send a follow-up emails. It's still not old school. You could probably send a thank you note, at least digitally to the recruiter or whoever you're talking to just to thank them for the opportunity to be there. It's kind of those little tiny things that uh, that really help. Sometimes the interview will have gone well and you might be on that bubble between being hired and not being hired. So maybe just putting a little bit more thoughtfulness after the interview's over by thanking them or sending up a follow-up email and telling them how much you enjoyed the interview, that might put you over. Of course, you'll never know um, unless you try. They may have already decided the second you walked out the door but it might be helpful, so it doesn't hurt. Hey, thanks for watching and listening to me talk about the five tips that you should know for a front-end interview. If you haven't already, you can click that subscribe button. And by the way, I'm doing a contest at Udemy for the next five days uh, is doing an amazing $10 sale. If you haven't already, I have some links below. There's lots and lots of courses that you can get for $10 each. You click on it and you can get one. If you like, I actually have a contest going all you need to do is sign up for my email list and share one of my videos and you'll be entered in a drawing. On Sunday, I will pick two people. Each person will get a one free course. It's well worth it. 
So please subscribe to my email list. Take care.